To get started here, I want to simply add up all of these numbers in this run, and when I get the total, I'll put a reference on the wall and start installing our cabinets. And I've taken that total and I measured from this wall in the kitchen down here all the way down to the end of where the cabinets will be. And that number totaled out at 204 and a half inches of drawn a plumb line. And why is that line important? That establishes the cabinets on this wall from right to left. Okay. Next thing I want to establish is the height of the cabinets. And I need to know where the refrigerator is going and the height of the refrigerator. Okay, we're planning a refrigerator right over here and it measures 70 and 1 8 inches tall. Okay, next I want to do is take a piece of finished flooring and place it on our floor and measure up 70 and 3 8 That gives us a quarter of an inch clearance for the refrigerator. That line is a reference that I can establish the height of all of our other cabinets. I have a cabinet over the refrigerator. I have a microwave cabinet here. I've measured down from under the microwave cabinet to the top of our countertop and allowed 16 inches. I've drawn a line here which represents the top of the base cabinets. And now we're ready to screw the cabinets to the wall. Okay. I'm going to start down here and I like to start with the top cabinets so the bottom cabinets won't be in our way. Now I got lucky here. There's actually an opening right here that I can see the first stud in the wall. What I simply will do is I'll take a finish nail and I'll drive it into the wall to verify that stud. Okay. Now I'm going to go over a little further, locate the next one. Should be right here. Now I'm going to measure from the edge of the cabinet to our first stud, which is four and three quarters of an inch. And our second stud is 15 and three quarters of an inch. Now I'm simply going to transfer those measurements to the back of our cabinet. Four and three quarters, 15 and three quarters. Now I want to drill four holes in the back of the cabinet. That will ensure that when we put the cabinet on the wall, the screws will go into the studs. Okay, now that the four holes are drilled, and to save our back, we're going to place the top cabinet on this cabinet jack, which will hold the cabinet into position. Okay, now let's take that small level there, put it under the cabinet, and check it for level. Back to me just to here. Oop, right there. Okay, take the level. Now to screw the cabinet to the wall, I'm simply going to use a two and a half inch deck screw. I actually have a cabinet washer attached to the deck screw to give me more surface area when attaching the screw to the cabinet. Okay, now we want to check the cabinet for plumb front to back. So put the level right on the front. Let's see the bubble. Oh, that's good. All right, now we can screw all the screws in. That's our first cabinet. Now we're ready for the cabinet over the stove top, but I have to cut a hole in it first to connect the duct to the hood. All right, Brandon, you want to clamp those two together? Okay, grab the other clamp. Keep it up. That's good. That looks good. Now I'm going to put a screw over here on the top to hold the cabinet so it won't fall. Now I want to screw the two cabinets together using an inch and a quarter screw just behind the style. Okay, now I want to take a six foot level and lay it on the face of the upper cabinet. And I want to make sure that the cabinet is straight. Take my filler and oh yeah, I got a space right behind the level. That means that the wall is bowed in. So to straighten it, I'm simply going to loosen the screws in the back of the cabinet Install a shim behind the cabinet that will pull the bow out. All right, let's check it one more time. Oh, that's good. All right, I'll just tighten up the screw. Just snug it right up there, Brennan. Now what we're doing is we've actually laid all of the base cabinets on their back. And I've laid a piece of plywood on the floor first to lay all the base cabinets on, keeping them flat. 
What I want to do is I want to screw the cabinets together as a unit using these inch and a quarter pan head screws. Should make it easier for installation. Now I'm truing the cabinets up to each other. Let me show you what I mean. If I measure across the face of this cabinet, I've got 17 and 13 sixteenths. If I measure back here, I've got 17 and 9 sixteenths. What I need to do is make this space equal. So I'm simply going to drive a shim in, bringing the cabinet out until I get 17 and 13 sixteenths. Done. Now I'll just put a clamp on to hold it. And I'll check the middle. Now I'll just screw them together. Okay, that's close enough for now. Now, because your floor is so uneven and your finished floor, which is a full three quarters of an inch, is not installed yet, we need to bring your cabinets up to this line. Now, that's a full inch and a quarter off of this cabinet right now. Now, it's too much to use shim, so what I've done is I've ripped the filler strip down that I will install under the cabinets, shimming it and making it level, then installing the cabinets on this filler strip. But to do it, I have to remove the cabinets first. Break off the excess shims and we're ready to put the cabinet back on. Now we're going to set the cabinet on the filler. That's it. Let's put a level on it and see how we did. Perfect. Now I'm going to shim it in place and screw it to the studs. <laughs> 